I would rather sign Josh King than Cavani. How's that going for you? Whoops. I think I'll win again, don't I? Yeah. And I feel vindicated in my assessment about Sancho that we didn't need him. We didn't. Because if that was Sancho to come on, he would not turn that game around. I'm so happy for Cavani. He proved the haters wrong. It was the right substitution at the right time. You could see it in his eyes. The victory meant a lot to him and he gave 100%. He saved our bacon in more ways than one. I saved all his job. Who cares? I'm happy for Cavani and that's all really um, I can muster uh, from it. We beat Southampton in their own backyard by three goals to two, doing it the hard way. Have to come from turn it down. On to the goals, shall we? If I eulogise more about Cavani as the video goes on, because I love when I prove these top reds uh, wrong. The first goal. It comes from a corner. James Ward Prowse delivery. One of the players flicks it on. De Gea is beaten. Not the greatest defender in the world. Then a covered in quality, superb, supreme free kick by James Ward Prowse. De Gea tries to get it. Um, for, out for a corner, hits the post, he collides with the post, which eventually meant they had to go off at half time. Now, James Ward Prowse has now equaled free kicks scored by Jamie Renap and Frank Lampard. So, bend it like Beckham, you could say. Then the second half, Cavani come on, he made the difference. I did say it was a good sign, I'm very happy when we got him. And then he made the difference, you know. And, oh yeah, Bruno does not score today if Cavani's not on the pitch, by the way, just to let you know. Bruno was shocking. He missed a sit as well, by the way. Just let you know that as well. But, careful. So Cavani puts it across the face of goal. There's Bruno, a tapping. Yeah? Would he be saying about the same? It's like, oh, Cavani's got a tapping against Everton. Would he be saying the same thing? He's got a good tapping, Bruno, against uh, Southampton. Hmm. Right. Somehow I doubt it. But there you go. Personal vendettas and all that towards Cavani. But, careful. <clears throat> then... Well, we equalised. Um, Cavani again. Right place, right time. And then the cross goes in. From Rashford, I reckon it was. And he bullets the header. And he does his train mark celebration. Not once, but twice. Diego Maradona died this week. And what a fitting tribute to the man. For the Argentine maestro. Who had a point to prove. Because he has been got a lot of hate. He was excellent and had accent uh, against Istanbul, he was fantastic today and he has got the memory of Maradona stapled even more because that was for him I'm sure it was, great goal, great assist as well so it's very good, very good from Cavani, um, it, it's just fantastic you know, yes he might have scored goals to, to save Oli's job but I'm more happy for Cavani than Oli, you know, and anyway besides which if we didn't get top four, Sancho would already be a Man United player anyway. So, on that side of the coin, if we finished outside top four, we would have got Sancho and I, and I would have got really angry. So, actually, thanks to Bruno, actually, get us top four. Because he's top us we're going to get Sancho, he's going to get 90%, this, that, this, that and the other. And what's happened to you now, eh? I don't want anybody who hated on Cavani to celebrate. Don't even dare, because you're a hypocrite and I'll find you. I'll find you. Anyway, I'm overexcited. I'm bubbly with excitement, it's just... I just, I just love it when I prove top reds wrong. I love it. I, I do. Uh, De Gea went off with an injury. He won't be out too long. Uh, I assure, I hope so. Greenwood was shocking. He missed the sitter as well, by the way. He should have scored that. Um, there's a difference, you see, the contrast between Greenwood and Cavani. You know, the chalk and cheese. The mistletoe wine. You know, Greenwood was the mistletoe. You know, if you hit it, if you... Put your finger on it, it pricks you and you get hurt. And Cavani is the wine. He's the wine. And he just delivered. And those ballet um, courses, they did wonders for him, just like I did for Ryan Giggs when he did those, uh, not Pilates, you know, you know you know what it is, one of those exercises that you would see um, Jane Fonda do on Breakfast Television or uh, The Motivator on GM TV. So that came in the right place. For him, but De Gea will be out for a while. Dean Henderson come in. You could say he, he made sure the defence was more uh, tight and composed and, and, and not fractured as it was when De Gea was in goal. But we're now out of the minus goal difference. We're into seventh place. We're in a good place. And we've got PSG on the horizon. And that will be something to look forward to. So, yeah. 
And also, a little lighter note, yesterday it marked 30 years when the Iron Lady, Margaret Thatcher, went out of Downing Street for the last time ever as she was outed and backstabbed by her own party. Now, I, you know, she hated Liverpool as much as I do. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Margaret Thatcher that I like. Oh yeah, that's the only thing I like about her because she hates Liverpool as much as me. Careful. So yeah, that was, a, that was a sad day, wasn't it? Very sad day. Oh well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you after the PSG game. Cavani is here. You top reds. Better accept it.